If you're looking to boost your Mutt team or make some money by selling coins, check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID at checkout for a 10% discount. Hey, what is happening, guys? ClickWood here back again, bringing you guys another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today we have brand new Ultimate Legends in the game. It's Saturday, so that's what's going to happen. These are pretty much the final cards that are going to be in the game. I mean, not these ones specifically, but Ultimate Legends are pretty much going to be the final great promotions that we have in the game. So if you've still got coins left like I do, I've got like 1.6 million. It's time to spend these damn coins, man. I'm serious. You got to go out there and you got to, I mean, either that or else buy the players that you want. Because there's no point in holding on to your coins until Madden 17 comes out. So uh, you're going to see me doing that over the next couple of weeks here. Spending all of my coins or giving them away to you guys. I'll probably do a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B on that end of things. But uh, with that being said, guys, I do want to take a look at these cards. Like I said, Randall Cunningham, Michael Strahan, brand new Ultimate Legends, Boss Legends in the game. Um... I really have no idea what they're going for right now, so I'm going to go in here and uh, actually take a look at the auction house real, real quickly and just see kind of what they're going for because, I, I mean, if you look at the attributes that I saw on Mudhead, those cards are both really, really nasty. So uh, I'm, I'm interested to see kind of what they're going to end up going for. So let's go to Strahan here and see if we can find him. So there's a 98 Strahan. It doesn't look like there's any 99 Strahans up yet. There's a couple of the uh, the collectibles that you need, as you guys can see here. But uh, it doesn't look like there's any of the actual Ultimate Legend or the Boss Legends up right now. So if you guys want to get a 98 Strahan, those, those things are going for 89000 Not too bad over here on the PlayStation 4. Um, now let's take a look and see if we can find the Randall Cunningham. Maybe that one will be a little bit more available. I don't know. But when there's not any up, that's never a good sign. <laughs> that's never a good sign. And just like that, there are not any 99 Cunninghams up either. That is crazy, man. In fact, there are no even collectibles for Randall Cunningham up. So let's just say that these things are pretty damn hard to pull, it appears. Um, I mean, obviously, we see that they are in packs because we do have the collectibles already. But I don't think anybody's really pulling these things, which is just, it's insane at this point in the season that EA can't just throw us a freaking bone and make it so that these things are actually able to be freaking pulled, man. It's insane. I, I don't get it. But uh, if you guys want to know, there are rookie premiere packs in the game if you're interested in doing some of those rookie sets to get those dynamic players for next year. Uh, but if you're not doing those, I think the best way to go is probably still the pro packs. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're just going to go in here. We're going to rip open some pro packs, man. Hopefully, we can get something great out of this. Probably not. And we get a Jihad Ward. So at least it's an NFL draft player. Uh, could be a lot worse than that. And we'll continue through, guys, and uh, try and get something good today. I really, I have really just had horrible luck this year in, in opening packs. But trying to, trying to stay on the positive end as much as I can. And we get a draft badge there. And we get a Chris Canty. I want to hear from you guys, though. What kind of luck have you had as far as, like, opening packs this year? Like, have you guys gotten anything great in your packs? Or are you like me, where I still haven't pulled a single 99 overall of any kind? I mean, I would I would settle for, like, a freaking Movers 99 at this point. Seriously, I really would. I'd be totally happy with that. If I got that Josh Norman Movers card, I would be very, very happy with that. And I've seen people pulling that out of their, uh, their Mutt Rewards free packs that they got yesterday, their rookie packs. I saw a couple people pull some really nice stuff out of those. So we get two golds in this one. Still nothing really of much value. But, yeah, I mean, definitely it's possible to pull those good movers cards or the uh the final editions like there's all kinds of good stuff that you can still get in packs right now it's just not happening for me as we get a geo bernard this is a road to the playoffs card so it doesn't have much value at this point but at least we got an, uh, an a freaking elite which has been a, a rarity for me lately <laughs> i don't know what the deal is but all right continuing on here i'm feeling luck in this one come on we're gonna go I said we we're going to go from the bag, but the very first card is a freaking 77 overall. So, you know, nothing else good is going to come out of the damn pack. Come on, EA. Come on. Help me out one time, dude. I've still got a bunch of uh, of the uh, large quick sells to do as well. I don't know. Would you guys still be interested in seeing me do any sort of large quick sell wars as we get another base elite, uh, Charles Johnson? I, I mean, you guys have seen me do those large quick sell wars over the course of the season. I mean, I still like doing them. I think it's a lot of fun. But I want to hear from you guys. If that's something that you'd be interested in watching, I will definitely try to find somebody else to actually uh, invest in doing those. That's See, that's the other thing right now is that 
people still have to like be interested in doing Madden <laughs> and uh, not a lot of people are still interested in playing Madden 16 and opening packs and things like that so uh, it's been kind of difficult to find people who are actually interested in doing the large quick sell wars I mean I don't know maybe you guys can tweet at people if you want them to to be in a large quick sell war against me uh, go ahead and tweet at them even if they're on a different console we can figure out a way of doing it we can do like a giveaway or, or something like that even if we're not going directly head to head and, and giving the other person the, the coins because like I said at this point most of us don't really care about our coins like I mean I want to have some so that I can do pack openings for the rest of the year but like I'm not really that worried about having 1.5 million coins like I do right now with lar 30 large quick sell sitting in my binder still I mean I, I just I don't really need them so I mean like I said if you guys are interested in watching more large quick sells go ahead and uh, tweet at somebody if you're interested in, in us doing them even if they don't have a face cam so if it's like if you want to watch me do it against Ryan I mean I'm sure he would be down for doing it at some point uh, we could probably set one up with iJoshify possibly with like Victionary um, I don't know you guys tweet at him let them know let them know that you're interested in seeing it and we get a rookie premiere Carl Joseph interesting okay like I don't know if this has much value at this point but uh, I mean I, I I'm assuming it does because I know that those sets are extremely expensive so we get two elites out of this pack I'm gonna quick go take a look and see what this thing is going for because I, I really have no idea I know that the um, okay his name's Carl Jaspa by the way I thought it was Joseph I don't know these players that well to be completely honest with you guys uh, but uh, yeah I mean we'll go in and try and uh, see what that thing's going for I like I said yesterday the price has changed on stuff so dramatically from the point that I created the video like I don't I don't know what happened I know that they reintroduced the sets into the game so I'm sure that that had something to do with it but it seems still crazy to me that some of these cards are, are going for as expensive as they are so uh, let's go in and we'll take a look and see what this is going for right now. I'm sure it's not much. Yeah, it's not a whole lot. About, what, 3,500. So really not that much. But, you know, it's definitely cool still to pull two elites in a pack. I mean, I, I haven't done that and I don't even know how freaking long, man. It's been insane. I don't know. I, I It's been a very long time since I've pulled two elites. But... Neither of those were really worth much, so I guess it kind of paid for the pack, if nothing else. We'll continue on here. It all it only takes that one pack, man. It only takes pulling a Michael Strahan. It only takes pulling a Randall Cunningham to actually, uh, you know, make your money back at this point. By the way, guys, another thing that I found out about uh, the other day that I think some of you might be interested in, I think that they might have, like, thrown us a little bit of a curveball as we get a random Rondé Barber collectible. Okay. I'll, I'll take it, I guess. It's like a base legend collectible, but we'll still take it. Um, but, uh, yeah, another thing that I noticed the other day, it was on, on a Mudhead thread, and I think EA might have thrown us a curveball, like I said. They actually have a, a guy on the Mudhead forums who typically posts about Madden Mobile, and he actually posted something on there where he where he knew who the upcoming Ultimate Legends were going to be this weekend. So this was done on, I think, either Wednesday or Thursday. And he actually broke the news. Well, he, first of all, what he does is he actually puts, like, a really complicated uh, mathematical formula in there. As we get a rookie premier Corey Coleman collectible there. Um, so he creates this really complicated mathematical formula to, to kind of make it like a code, I guess. I don't know. And most people have no idea how to do those formulas. I don't think I do either. I haven't ever even really sat down and tried to take the time to do it. But, uh, you know, like I said, he makes it really, really complicated. So, like, maybe one person will get it. And what they do then is within that formula, he actually tells you who the upcoming Ultimate Legends are going to be. And he's been right every single time this year as we get a Gerard Mayo Elite. Um, but, yeah, he's been right every single time this year as far as I know. He's never been wrong. But this weekend, he said that the two Ultimate Legends were going to be number one, Michael Strahan, and number two, Cam Newton. Now, obviously, we saw that Michael Strahan was in the game, and so that one was correct. However, number two, Cam Newton, not in the game today. At least not in Madden Ultimate Team on the console. So we got Randall Cunningham over here on console, and what actually happened on the, the mobile version was that they actually did get a Cam Newton. So it's kind of interesting. They actually completely changed things up. They didn't put a Randall Cunningham into the game on mobile, and they didn't put a Cam Newton into the game on console. So very, very interesting. What, what's even more interesting about this is that if you really think about it, if you look at Randall Cunningham, you look at Cam Newton, 
their attributes are, are also going to be really, really similar to one another because they're both right-handed quarterbacks. They're both tall, physical, fast quarterbacks as well who might struggle a little bit with accuracy from time to time. But overall, they've got great throw power. And uh, again, they're, they're really tall, strong, athletic quarterbacks. So you look at their attributes and they're, they're really close to one another as far as what they would actually be on the field for you. But the difference, of course, is that they're not the same player. So kind of an interesting thing. I want to hear what you guys have to say about that. I mean, do you think that EA saw that this guy was releasing that stuff and then just decided to, to give us a completely different card for no apparent reason? Or do you think that we're actually at some point going to get an ultimate legend Cam Newton here on Madden 16? I don't know. I mean, he did win MVP this year, and it wouldn't be outside of the realm of possibility of something that EA would do to actually give us a Cam Newton Ultimate Legend. So I think it's a real possibility that at some point this year, by the end of the season, we're going to be getting ourselves a Cam Newton Ultimate Legend. And uh, on the mobile version, they might get themselves a Randall Cunningham Ultimate Legend. You never know. But if they don't do it, I think it's going to be kind of interesting. I mean, if I was on mobile, I think it would be kind of disappointing to me that we didn't get a Randall Cunningham Ultimate Legend because uh, Cunningham's pretty cool. I know a lot of people don't want to see Cam Newton get an Ultimate Legend just because he's so young into the game and uh, maybe he hasn't, quote-unquote, deserved an Ultimate Legend quite yet. But like I said, he won an MVP. So, I mean, you can, you can make the case that at some point he would be a legend in Madden anyway. So I, I'm not I'm not that opposed to having it. I would like I think it would be great if they would have put out all three of them on both. I mean that would have been awesome. First weekend where they actually put out three Ultimate Legends. Why not make it something make it something cool like that? Now like I said, it would have been a little bit weird because the two cards would be so similar in attributes between Cam and Randall Cunningham, but. Even still, I think it would be awesome. It would give us double the chances to actually pull one of those great quarterback cards, and then we would still have Strahan as well. So, I don't know, man. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about that whole situation. Do you think Cam Newton is going to come to console? Do you think Randall Cunningham is going to come to mobile? Or are we kind of stuck with what we have at this point? Let me know in the comment section below. Guys, we're going to do three more packs, including this one, and then we're going to wrap it up for the day. Haven't really pulled much of value, man. It's it's at this point it's almost becoming a joke, but I'm trying to stay positive about it at this as much as I can anyway. This deep into the season to have still not pulled anything great. Maybe it'll be the final pack though. Maybe this final pack will do it. Wish us some luck. Come on guys, let's do it one time. Let's open up something great. Give me a Josh Norman or something. Like I know he's not even worth that much anymore, but it would be amazing to pull a freaking 99 overall one time. Let's go from the back this time guys and we get a Jermichael Finley and that is going to be the final pack of the pack opening video we'll throw this real quickly into the rookie player set that is going to do it guys hope you enjoyed the video leave a comment below with some of the things that I talked about in this video let me know what you guys think and also guys if you're if you can do me a favor and drop a like on the video it does really help out the channel subscribe to the channel as well if you're new I appreciate it thank you guys so much good luck opening your own Michael Strahan and Randall Cunningham's today and if you're over on mobile get yourself that Cam Newton let me know what you think thanks guys I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.